You gonna leave me hanging? You gonna leave me hanging? Oh, we gotta do it like this? <laughs> you trying to get your RC helicopter to work? Yes, but there was hair in it. There was hair in it? Yeah. Oh man, it's crazy. <laughs> What's up guys, it's me Eric B and welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to be doing a first ride on this 2022 Aprilia RS660 and this is my new personal bike so I'm not just out here borrowing people's bikes anymore. I've been talking about this thing for quite a while. If you guys have seen some of my previous videos, I said, hey, I don't know if I want to go uh, Ducati V2 um, or get the Aprilia RS660. And recently with the drop of the 2024 ZX6R, you know, I, I was, I was, man, it was, it was a tough choice. But I actually ended up going with the Aprilia. I got an awesome deal on this bike and I am satisfied thus far. And as you can see, I went with the yellow or it's called acid gold is what Aprilia is calling it. I did want to get the uh, the gray, the, it's like a dark gray or black color uh, previously, but man, just looking at this uh, yellow in person, it looks really good. I love my RC8, <laughs> but this bike just looks way better. Um, so, you know, this bike is, is gonna be primarily my daily, kind of like my street bike, mess around, have fun with. And the RC8 will probably become just like my my track bike slash you know take it out on the twisties every now and again but uh but yeah so let's talk about some of the things that i have done to it so far all right so right from the jump you guys can see i got the uh, rizoma stealth mirrors on it i also have the rizoma um led light unit um, blinkers on there because obviously when you take the mirrors off you lose your blinkers now on the uh on the Euro market, you do get the blinkers integrated into the uh, headlight, which you do get it here in the US and you can see the little orange LEDs in there, but they're not activated. So I think you have to do it through the ECU is what I've been reading from the forums. Also, we have a Puge uh, tinted windscreen. I love the way that it looks raised up like that. It just uh, makes the bike look much meaner up front. There is a Fender Eliminator kit that came on here when I got it. It's not the style that I want and I do have a New Rage Cycle uh, Fender Eliminator coming soon, so I'm gonna get that installed and that should clean up the back fairly nicely. Also, I installed a Sprint P08 air filter in this um, because this bike has a nice intake roar, so you know, just get a little bit more intake flow coming in there is always good. We got a fresh um, oil change done to this. I'm using the uh, Castrol um, oil, which is recommended from Aprilia. I, I tend to stick to what, you know, is used uh, from the factory. And you may not notice it, which I'm going to pull this exhaust off and polish up the uh, the pipe there so it looks a little bit better. But this is rocking what's called the Motobox um, exhaust. If you guys have heard of that brand, um, it's a cheaper alternative and it was already on the bike when I got it. Um, but what they do is they basically take the factory exhaust, they do some stuff to the inside of the muffler and everything and make it sound really good. So believe it or not, this thing sounds like I have an exhaust on it, but it still looks stock, which is which is pretty cool. So I do plan to probably either get a new heat shield or um, probably paint this black, um, some sort of satin black or something like that, because all this silver and everything on here, I, I'm not really a fan of it. I want to go more um, black and yellow. So I will eventually get some like carbon fiber pieces and stuff like that to cover all that up. And I'm going to powder coat the wheels black. So I don't know. What do you guys think about that? All right, let's get a quick sound check. The bike's already warm, so it really isn't a cold start per se. That way you can kind of hear what that uh, exhaust sounds like. I mean, it's all right, you know what I'm saying, for, for still being stock. <laughs> Some of the other things I want to do aesthetically is I'm going to get a black A put on here because I just like the way that that looks and then get that uh, that rear cow put on there that you typically see on some of the RS660s. I think that looks really good as well. All right, guys, so hopefully this comes across uh, good on the GoPro just because I have, I have to hold my head to make sure that it's in the field of view. But this does have uh, uh, quite a bit of features <laughs> packed into this bike. So if you hold down this button here, 
um, near the uh, start switch. You do get different uh, modes. So you get commute, dynamic, and individual. And commute, obviously, you know, self-explanatory. It's going to be set up for, you know, just normal commuting and stuff like that. Dynamic gets a little bit, you know, uh, more aggressive, if you will. And an individual, you can set it up, you know, to your own settings. So engine management, you can uh, get that um, turned down a little bit. For, so three for commute is I guess a lower setting and I set it on one for individual to have a little bit higher setting. You have engine braking, I wanna turn that down. Um, you have traction control, turn that down a little bit. Um, uh, what's it called? Wheelie control, sorry. So you have wheelie control on this, which you really don't have to worry about too much because this bike doesn't have a whole lot of power. But when you're on the track, it does matter when you're, you know, hitting those crests on some of those hills and stuff like that. It kind of keeps the front end down. And then the ABS, I keep it on too, but you can turn it um, down. Um, I don't remember if you can turn it off or not, but I'm not going to touch it right now. I'm just going to leave the settings that I have. But this is what I typically ride for my style of riding. All right, guys, so I'll finish talking about everything else once we get the bike out on the road. But before we do that, as always, let's cut to the B-roll. That's the other thing. One thing that I don't like about this bike so far is this kickstand. Like you look at the rest, you know, the rest of the bike and everything looks pretty good. And then you get to the kickstand, it's like an afterthought. It's like, what is this little thing? So, oh, wrong button. Switching the modes here. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's get around this guy. Man. This little thing is a beast. <laughs> I am impressed. Okay, so on paper, let's go ahead and just get to the power numbers and everything. On paper, this thing only has 100 horsepower and rocking um, right around 50 pound-feet of torque. And it doesn't look like it's a lot on paper, but man, once you ride this thing, holy moly, like that does not even matter. And it also helps that this bike, wet, is coming in at 403 pounds. Man, I wanted to take this curve. These cars are in my way. This little thing pulls. You'll be surprised. If you have not had the chance to ride one, you need to get out and ride one if you're if you're looking to, to get this bike. And the thing sounds so good, man. It just sings. Like I said before, it has a sort of like an intake roar coming from uh coming from the bike, man. It just sounds so good. Check out the downshift here. Oh yeah. First. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, so this does have a uh, quick shifter and an auto blipper on it, which is uh, pretty nice. And it's pretty smooth. Not as smooth as the BMW S1000R. That one's probably the smoothest that I have uh, experienced, but, uh, but not too bad. G coming from the RCA and jumping on this bad boy, this thing feels a lot lighter. Um, it feels like it handles quite nicely. Um, and the, it, it's really plush, it's really comfortable because it's a more comfortable seating position. You're not super all the way, you know, um, bent over and stuff like you would be like on an R6 or something like that. The seat is uh, nice and comfortable as well, nice and plush. So something like this is perfect for those that wanna be able to ride longer, 
and you can still take this thing out and have some fun with it there's a lot of guys still uh taking these bikes not still but you know uh starting to take these bikes to the track and i think with the proper suspension tuning and everything like that this would make for a good track bike i think the only downfall is the rear shock on this bike um it's lacking if you will a little bit but you got to take into consideration for the price that you're paying for this bike you are getting a lot out of it in my opinion all the electronics the quick shifter um everything is led <laughs> the uh the tft display i mean you can't beat it man it's not the fastest thing in the world but it's not always all about that you know what i'm saying all right so we covered you know the power department and what we're putting down and stuff like that um as far as the looks goes like i said before this is one nice looking bike i love the color i love the design and the aesthetics the front end looks mean i love the way the front end looks on this bike just the uh the daytime running lights and everything on here look amazing and then i do like i said before want to do some uh some carbon accents and stuff like that like on the fender the rear hugger um the swing arm and and, and things like that and um get the wheels powder coated black I think that would look really sweet. Brakes on here feel really good, by the way. Not too bad. They do have uh, Brembo brakes on this bike with a Brembo master cylinder. But yeah, man, as far as the looks on this bike goes, you, it, oh, man, you can't beat it. It looks good. I like it. All right, talking back on the ergonomics piece once again, like I said, this is a really comfortable bike. Um, for those that uh, haven't seen any of my previous videos, when I do first rides, I talk about how tall I am. So I'm 6'1". Um, I, I do flat foot this bike quite easy. It's, it's, it's kind of small. Um, I mean, compared to like my RC8, it's a smaller bike. But I don't feel that I'm too big for it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, it's very comfortable. I'm not completely bent over on my wrist or anything like that. You can live with this bike on, on the daily. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna, this is gonna be something you're gonna uh, commute with. And then you have this beautiful TFT full color display. This thing looks awesome. It even does uh, the thing, you know, when it gets night outside, it'll automatically switch um, the screen to dark and the lights will come on and everything. So that's pretty awesome, man. I, I love it. Like I said, this thing has everything um, you could think of in it. Um, I, I don't remember if it has some sort of an IMU in it or not. Um, I have to look that up. But you do get ABS, like I said. Um, you do have power modes. Um, you get trash control, wheelie control, engine braking, all that good stuff. <laughs> had to open her up a little bit for you guys i said this freaking thing is fun oh my gosh it puts a smile the first time i jumped on this bike just to test right before i bought it man i was already smiling i was like yes sir this is it this is it <laughs> she will get up and move it doesn't seem like we're going super fast but like i said it's fun to ride a slow bike fast oh and one other thing i forgot to mention this bike does have cruise control so you don't get many, or hardly, or none at all actually, 600 um, you know, or middleweight style bikes that come with cruise control. So uh, that is uh, a plus as well. do I like having an auto blipper I wish I had it on the RC8 but I don't think I can put it on there because it doesn't have an electronic throttle 
So when I'm at the track, it's interesting when, I, when I'm trying to brake and downshift all at the same time. I would love to get this bike out on the track and see how this thing performs. I already took the RC8. I'll have a video coming for that soon. But yeah, man, I, I am loving this bike. All right, so let's talk about how does this bike compare to something like my R6. So I've already owned that bike, so I can kind of talk about it a little bit. But just bottom line, this bike would take it, I think, down low because this bike has a little bit more torque. It is a torquey little bike, but then it would run out of steam because the R6 is all top end, baby. So you're not beating that. I mean, and it has two more cylinders. It's a four cylinder while this is a parallel twin. And the R6 is just more, it's more of a track bike, man. I mean, you can bring this on the track too, but this is more for the street. This is like a street slash, you know, street first, then track bike, while the R6 is like track bike, then you can ride it around on the street. You know what I'm saying? If you don't mind being uncomfortable after a certain amount of time. Now, uh, I forgot to mention as far as the ergonomics piece goes, because I'm taller, just like when I ride the RSV4, I don't have a lot of room to scoot back on this bike. Um, this bike, I, I feel it has a little bit more space, but it's still like, I can't scoot back far enough. But I mean, it's not bad. I'm, I'm still pretty pretty comfortable on this bike. And also I can hug the tank correctly because on the RSV4, like on this bike, you see my thighs are right underneath the, the groove on the tank. On the RSV4, they're like way up here, man. So yeah, this bike is uh, a lot more comfortable than something like the RSV4. All right, so if you think for one second that a bike like this that only has 100 horsepower wouldn't be enough for you, you are sadly mistaken. Like. This bike is good for a beginner. If you want to, you know, if you're a beginner rider and you want to get something like this, I think this bike would be good for you. Um, you can tone down, um, you know, some of the settings and stuff in here on it. You can, and then you can grow into it as you get better. And this bike is also awesome for advanced riders. Now, maintenance wise on this bike, um, I've done most of everything on it myself so far. Um, I, I don't know, you know, if anyone else has any issues with maintenance or anything. I know there was a recall for the, the engine block leaking or something like that. Um, and I wanna say, when I talked to the guy, he said he'd already had that um, fixed on this bike when I picked it up from him. Cause this is a 2022. I know the 21s had the issue. I didn't realize that the 22s had it as well. And then uh, the other thing is like parts availability. I know a lot of people talk about that with Aprilia. I had a buddy that had an RSV4. He, it, you know, he had to get fairings straight from Italy and it was gonna take a long time. To get a stock windscreen um, from the dealership, they had to order one for another bike I was looking at. I was looking at getting a 23, and it needed a new win windscreen because I got cracked during shipping or something like that. And they had to order that from Italy, and that was taking months to get. So, I mean, I, that could probably be a problem, but, uh, but so far, so good. It's just little things like that. That's the things that scare people away from like, you know, European bikes, you know, like, oh my gosh, the maintenance, or oh my gosh, the parts and stuff like that. My thing is, that's why I have a second bike. So if this is down, you know, I still have something else to ride. And the other thing is, if you're gonna buy a bike, you know, like a Ducati or Aprilia or BMW or anything like that, I mean, you gotta expect there's gonna be some maintenance costs and just be ready to pay for it. You know, you, you gotta pay to play. But yeah guys that's gonna do it for me definitely wanted to show you guys how this thing performs i've been wanting to talk about it for a while because i had it for a hot minute and i just haven't had the chance to do a, a first ride video on it yet but man this bike is awesome if you are looking to pick this thing up definitely get one man or go try it out go take a look at it if you guys got any comments or questions on it man definitely leave me a, a comment down below if you're new to the channel as always be sure to subscribe if you're liking what you're seeing definitely give me a like and i will see you guys in the next one Peace.